else is my job. Okay, y'all, that's called cutting it close. Oh, I don't know what we're gonna do about this. Coming in hot. Sweet tea and sunshine. Okay, let's go see what's going on here. I'm pretty sure what is happening is blades are being replaced and then he's gonna go cut the hay. So I'm gonna help him if I can. Mm -hmm. No farmer, but I see tools and I see, oh yeah, there's just like, when I, when I think of blades, I don't think of these little tiny things, but they are y'all. See how little they are? I'll show you. That's the blade, okay? And you can see they're rusty and... Do you do this every year? I think he does this every year. Yep. Yeah, he cuts, he cuts them. He replaces them every year. How many is on each thing? Three or four? Or is it just two? Huh? What do you call each one of these? A head. Okay. How many blades on a head? Two? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Couldn't hear you. All right. I don't know. This might be a one person job. One off. Okay, I'm learning. I didn't know it was different. One hand turned one way, one turned the other. Yeah, there's. I was asking why he's got two boxes here. So the blades are cut different. So the cutting the edge. The exact opposite. That goes that way, and so the cutting edge goes that way. It matches up. That makes sense to me. Okay. Hmm. Tightens it with a ratchet for a certain reason. Huh? I know it went so far with the ratchet. I know I'm in there. Or you start it with the ratchet. <clears throat> I need to Need my assistance. This is my job. Come on, I'm almost there. There we go. Okay. I hold the pry bar. I call it a pry bar. Pry bar, pry bar. There's a difference. Is there a difference? There's a pry bar. Okay. Crew bar got a crew bar. Oh. Oh, it's got like a fork on the end. Did you see that piece there? Yeah. It's got two flat edges and two round edges. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what locks it to keep it from spinning. Oh. And it's got to go up in there. And if you get it turned like that and take your eye wrench, and it could pull it up and then not be in the hole. Oh. I tighten it with a ratchet till I know it's up in the slot. Okay. And then... All right. The more you know. There's one that's already out. on the ground is bad. A little tedious process here. It's actually, it didn't take that long. Feels like summer today, y'all. I know, uh, did you look at the temp? I know it's in the 80s. And we don't have the wind. That we, yesterday we had this beautiful breeze. Like it felt so good, but it's gone today. It's gone. Hmm. All right, we're getting in the short rows here. In the tight working conditions. Okay, that's done. Next is up. Next up is greasing. Called in the heavy hitter. Called in the A team. <laughs> Where you put a bearing in? We didn't have a 
greasable barn. That a greasable hut, uh, I mean, the barn was greasable, but the cage, uh, cage won't, didn't have no grease still in it. Uh, so you replaced it? I, I did, took the cage and the hole and put a grease stick in it. That's good, man. Next, he's gonna cut this, and then y'all, I don't know what we're gonna do about this. I mean, we're gonna cut it, but we sure are disappointed in it. It looks good right here, but not, not out there. Oh well. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, we're also gonna be planting something different this year for hay down on the river bottom at um, our neighbor, Jeff and Kira's farm. Um, it's where we had, uh, where we've done sorghum the last few years. He's going to plant something called sun hemp. And it's not like, it's not like other kind of hemp. <laughs> I don't know what it is. All I know is he wants to try it. It's supposed to be good. So we're just doing all the, all the, what do you call it? Um, experimental things this year. You probably aren't gonna be able to hear me with the wind. But anyway, if not, I'll, I'll say this again at some point. <laughs> Coming in hot! <laughs> Something that's been needed to happen for a long time. My truck, my oil, needed to be changed for, well, a while. So, yay. Yeah, that's happening. Thank you, guys. Thank you, fellas. You're welcome, Mom. You're welcome, honey. Ooh. Is that the air filter? Fuel filter. Fuel, I mean. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Way up there. Let her drink, drink, drink. Holds 12 quarts. Yeah, 12 quarts. Leak check. Need some major scrubbing. I take it through the car wash, try to every week, but gotta put a rag on it. What? Okay, all systems go. No leaks. Yay! Okay, yes, I'm in the kitchen, but um, not here to cook. Just here to like wrap things up, but I gotta show you something. I gotta show you something I'm super excited about. Okay, um, so if you've been around a little while, then you know that my best friend Jen and I started a podcast last year. It's called I See You God Podcast. And um, we got one season out. We've got one season, season two almost wrapped up and ready to go. Um, we're working hard, just hit some bumps trying to get it, get it all, get it all tied together and put out there for you. But it's coming. But in the meantime, this is what we have. We have merch, y'all. We have a hat. We have an I See You God hat. A little feather there on the bottom. That's Jen's thing. And it's become my thing. Um, whenever she finds feathers, it, it makes her think of God. Say, I see you, God. Know that he's thinking of her. And then we have this. I see you got tank top and our favorite rocker style tank top. It's long in the back, 
long in the front, loose, goes up high, so you don't have to, you know, you can bend over, you can do the things, not worry about all other things uh, coming out or anything like that. So, okay, trying to keep this PG. Um, this is what we've got. I love it. I'm just in love with it all. And you will see me wearing this a lot. I'm Now I wish we had this in many colors and we might have to get more. <laughs> it's just all I want to wear. So comfy. So cool for hot days this summer, working out, whatever. Um, so yeah, these are in in my shop at thisfarmwifeshop.com under the new what's new tab. You can find it. Um, there's more to come. We've got a hoodie and we've got a t-shirt, a cotton, 100% cotton, USA grown cotton t-shirt coming. So stay tuned for that. But I just wanted to tell you all about this. I have this hat with another design that says let's ride. And um, we both wear that hat a lot. And it's our favorite color. So we just wanted to use the same style. It's super comfy. It's got the little, whatever you want to call that in the back. And um, anyway, okay, there's that. All right, he is not gonna Ted hay today. There's a chance of rain tonight and it's clouding up. It definitely looks like it could rain this afternoon. So um, possibly rain coming. He said if it was gonna rain on it, he wanted it to rain on it before he tedded it. Um, that's where we he goes with the, the little rake type thing and it picks it up and fluffs it out <laughs> um, so it can dry. So he'll probably, he'll ted it tomorrow and then we might be raking and rolling in two days hopefully hopefully that's the goal so stay tuned for that i'm so excited gotta get rita out gotta get rita out and greased and ready to go rita's my rake if you're new here and um so stay tuned for that and yeah how are you doing duke come here buddy duke get out of the way buddy Sweet tea and sunshine time. <laughs> and air condition, more charging. I think this is the last one. Thank you. You're welcome. What you need me to do? Uh, Blow this filter. Blow the filter out. Where is it, up there? Oh, I see it. This black switch? Turn it back. Well, I turned the opposite it was, so. Rocket, you're so silly. Now he was trying to bite the air. I was trying to bite that air. Okay. I've been asking and asking and asking to get this pool drained. And the only way to do it is to siphon it out. Because we can't get to the bottom of it to unplug it because it's just disgusting in there. So, we've got this old hose and it's got kinks all in it and <laughs> it'll probably take it four days to come out this way, but I would think it would get clogged up with all this mess that's in it. This it is so is. bad, this is so bad. It probably will, yeah. We decided to do plan B, plan B, because I'm afraid that's going to take forever and it's going to get stopped up. So we're going to hook the gas pump and we'll get it out of there in like a few minutes instead of a few days. What? Yeah. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right. Around here, there's always more than two, more than one way. Well, more than two ways <laughs> to skin a cat or drain a nasty pool. I didn't know we had this filter thing, so that should help. If it doesn't like totally stop up and keep it water from going in it. We're just gonna let it run down there. Get a snag, it's not working. It is working. Well, it wasn't. Well, the oil pump's gotta be primed. <laughs> oh, it's gotta be primed, okay. <laughs> Been sitting there since last year. Mm, okay. Don't you want to have it in the Here we go, here we go. Woo! <laughs> if you 
Yeah. Is that our goal? Yeah. <laughs> Be a fireman. <laughs> okay, that's gonna take a few minutes, I can tell. Yeah, it is. He said it would take a few minutes, but it's gonna take a few times, a few times, a few minutes, I think. I gotta check on supper. The dogs just wanna go in and out, in and out. It's air fryer meatball night. I think they're done. That's what I wanted to make sure they were done. Look at this. This is one of my favorite things, y'all. I'm gonna do this little number just to make sure. I love this little gadget. Yeah. What's it supposed to be? 160? All right, they're at it. Close enough. Alrighty. Actually, I might turn them on for just a couple more minutes. There we go. And we got spaghetti squash cooking, which is basically done. I'm gonna turn that off. Just doing a real easy supper tonight. Meatballs, spaghetti squash, this, Alfredo sauce. Oh, I was gonna do something green. I think I'll just throw a little salad. Salad or something, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Um, and then the kids and I wanna go ride, well, Lawrence too, maybe. We need to ride our horses because we haven't done that in a few days. And the next show is gonna sneak up on us and our weekends are full, so we're not gonna get to go to practice probably only once in the next couple weeks before the next show. So that's not good. But you know, we do the best we can, don't we? It's all we can do. So that's where we're at. Okay, I think we're getting out of short rows. Maybe. <laughs> Take a little while. Oh gosh, supper's ready. <laughs> and some more farmer ingenuity there. <laughs> and that's about all we can get with that. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that was fast. That was good. Austin's going to get the rest. <laughs> if you take your filter off, Somebody standing in there and hold it down. Mm -hmm. You still suck a little more out of mm. Well, she can get in here now and open this plug over here. And then she'll just push it out. Well, there. there's two. There's one on each side. And push it out, I guess, and clean it. That's her job. It's going to be her job. Yay. Thank you. Okay, well, that was good. Supper was good. Oh, <laughs> I thought the um, fan blade was something coming out of my head. Wow. Is that dust? Maybe a little bit. It wasn't so long ago that I dusted those fan blades. Anyway, um, oh, there's a wasp. All right, I see you cinch. The kids have gone to get other horses. Um, we're gonna wrap this one up. We are heading out to have a little trail ride, a little sunset ride. So um, maybe I'll record some of that and take you along and you can check it out next time. We'll see. We'll see. I don't even know how much battery I have here on the camera. But um, anyway, thank you for being here. And we will see you back next time. And hopefully, we will be in the hay field. Whoop, whoop.